I'm here with Ken Johnson of uh, Red Hat. We're talking about IoT this morning. And one of the issues that comes up is people look at IoT as something fundamentally different from what we've done in the past. Now, you've been in the business a long time. And if you kind of trace uh, some of the major phases, it used to be we had waterfall. You build one to throw away. You know that whatever you built at first, by the time it reached production, it was probably going to be very different. And some of the things that we've talked about um, at various times are the multi-tier architecture for um, IoT. You've got things at the edge. You've got your gateway. Tell me what you're seeing or what you're doing or what people are telling you about um, differences when you know that you're going to be dealing with sources, data sources from the IoT. How do you build? Are you building prototypes? Are you building things to throw away? So I, I think a lot of what we've learned over time applies here as well. You're going to do prototypical development. You're going to adopt agile methods. You want to, all, all the benefits we've learned and, and gained over time, that doesn't get thrown away here. The IoT is not a fundamental shift in the way we build, but mm -hmm. it is an architectural shift in the way we think about the application. Okay. Most applications that are, have been built over time tend to be I'll call it monolithic, not in the microservices versus monolith way, but they tend right. to be an application that runs in a data center, in a cloud, and it's sort of self-contained. I've got a problem. You're going to build something for me in it. Yeah, yeah. And it, it's, it's pretty bounded. Mm -hmm. um, and in the IoT realm, the systems tend to be distributed. The applications are distributed. You're breaking application logic over multiple tiers. Okay. And you need to think about that early in the process. Um, not that you have to have kind of a, a waterfall approach of an exactly the specified end state, but you have to consider where the components are going to run, what your distributed architecture looks like. So you're, you're, you're bringing more physicality into your application. Mm. It's not just I'm running software on a server or on a computer, but I'm running in tiers of architecture which may be very highly distributed, maybe sort of physically constrained, maybe on mobile assets. So I do have to think about what my topo physical topology is going to look like and start my prototyping with that in mind. Okay. So the technology selections you're going to make up front to prototype need to support or have a path to support the eventual deployment architecture you're envisioning. So if you go, say, with a complete cloud-only back end, with a simple device to cloud model, right. and you anticipate needing to have a, a mid-tier, a gateway tier on a mobile asset, well, how are you going to retrofit that in later without re-architecting your application? So you need to think about that up front. And as you start prototyping, whether you virtualize that or do a, a simplistic multi-tier model, start with that so you can understand how you're going to divide your logic, understand the network considerations, the device communication patterns, and things that are going to exist in the real end state you're envisioning. Okay. So if you, if you oversimplify in the prototype stage, when you get to closer to reality, you'll have a problem on your hand <laughs> in terms of going right. to refit your simplified prototype to the actual reality. So have the end state reality in mind, but s simplify that as much as you can, but have it be representative. Okay. of the real world that you're going to be deploying this in. So you can be sure you have the right software selected, the right skills, the right tools to build the right functionality at each of the tiers and be able to you know, distribute it, to be able to manage it, to be able to run it effectively. OK. Great. Well, thanks. If you want more information about uh, how Red Hat is working with the IoT, go to redhat.com. For more videos in the series, you can go to rdinsights.com.